I'm saying we have from Cayman, we have from Trinidad and Tobago, we have the USA is here, we have St. Lucia and I know there are others. So we are grateful. At one point I was wondering if I was in America when I saw the choir. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. It is the first time we are having so many overseas visitors. It shows that the church is really growing and have grown. It has been three years since we haven't had a convocation and we are grateful to God that God has enabled us to be here and we are enjoying ourselves thus far. Thanking God for all the uh, selections and offerings that did go forth. Thank God how he's been blessing us and the talent that is among us and we just, that we just want to gear it in the right direction and continue to give God the praise and honor that is due to his high and his matchless name. We have ministers here. We heard from two last night. We'll be hearing from others as time progresses. But before Pastor Jennings come forward, we want to hear from um, Pastor Richard from St. Lucia. We just want to have him bring greetings for us. Pastor Richard. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ to all my brothers and sisters. We want to thank God for such a wonderful time. Praise him and bless him for who he is. Because if God was like man, surely we wouldn't have been here. But we praise him and bless him for who he is. Thank him for the way of holiness. It's tough, rough, but I thank God for it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank God for the apostles, the prophets who's gone before. And I cannot thank God enough for such a man in my lifetime, Pastor Jennings. In the name of Jesus Christ. This man has bruised me, bruised me. <laughs> Sometimes I say, why did I listen to that episode? Why? <laughs> Only because... There are things you can do and you cannot do. Thank God for him. Those false prophets, they are just this book. They do everything with it. But thank God for such a man who will say all the time, you cannot do it. And Jesus Christ said that. You cannot serve God and mammon. He said, God is a spirit and they that worship him must the saints back home I have them to underline this word must it's a must and I thank God so much my brothers and sisters good to meet everyone in our lifetime before we get to the kingdom it's a wonderful feeling Jamaica <laughs> praise God just to be brief growing up as a young man as a young man young boy I used to listen to the music from Jamaica, saying Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. But I'm here today on a different level. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. A different lifestyle, a different move. Holy Ghost, blessings. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank God for Pastor. Richard, the word has reached St. Lucia as it has been reaching all the other islands and countries, and we are grateful to God for him being here with us tonight. We baptized 20 last night. <laughs> Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. We thank God for the word that did go forth, and we are here tonight to get more. I know that everyone is expecting and everyone is anticipating so without any further ado i want to present unto you our leader teacher and guide is the messenger of almighty god pastor gino jenny preaching of the gospel soon be over soon be over soon be over preaching of the gospel soon oh I'm glad all over. All over. Yes, pre 
making. Preaching of the gospel soon, all over. Thank God, all over. Yes, preaching. of the gospel soon be over. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. All over. I'm glad all over. All over. Yeah, preaching of the gospel. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Friends, and to my squeaking enemies. We bear witness once again there's only one true living God. He have no partners, he have no rivals. We associate none to be with him, greater than him, equal to him, or besides him. The Lord himself is the true sender of holy prophets and holy apostles. He alone is God that has no errors, no flaws. He's a God that never make mistakes. We thank him for sending the prophets and the apostles and leaving the scriptures here on record for our learning, giving us a fair chance fair opportunity to get right with him only on his terms. After about three to four years of shutdown here in Jamaica, it's good to be back again. All of our beloved ministers that are present and to all the elders and mothers and sisters and brothers and children, it is good to see our extended family here and to the many that is outside that can't fit in here. God has been good to all of us. And as I've said on countless occasions to you that are listening and you that are here, if you were blessed to survive the COVID pandemic and still alive, you weren't lucky. You were blessed of God
And the reason why you're still alive, because God and his divine wisdom and his mercy simply chose to give you an extension to get right with him. One scripture says, not by works of righteousness that we have done, but by his mercy, he saved us. Thank God by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. So we are grateful to see so many jam-packed in here this evening and we drove up, we saw the many that was out there under the tent and some standing on the sides. If you don't want to stand out there, want to come in and stand around, you can. You can come in and stand around the walls if you like. If you don't want to be out there, come on in and line up around the wall if you desire to getting close range of the gospel. We greet all of our brothers and sisters that are watching internationally throughout the South Pacific and all the islands of the Caribbean, back in the wicked country of America and Canada and all of Africa and Europe truth of God is the message that God placed in the earth. Not only to reprimand the human family, but to fix what is broken in our life. All of us, if you will hear what I'm telling you, have something broken in all of our lives and it need to be mended together. You know when Jacob wrestled with the angel, the angel knocked his thigh out of joint. But Jacob said, I won't let you go until you bless me. Thank God and he wrestled all day and all night till the breaking of day and the angel said, let me go. But there was a zeal according to knowledge in the man of God. He said, I won't let you go until you bless me. And that's what God have done and is doing to everyone to have a desire to get right. Here, take something in your life and knock it out of joint. Jacob's thigh represents that which is close to you. And when something close to you, get out of line, get out of place, get out of joint, it causes you pain. And you got to wrestle with that pain. Tell the blessing of God come and then that blessing will ease or deliver you from the pain. So I'm, I'm still waiting on God's blessing on so many things. Yet I have received plenty of blessings from God. But because I'm greedy. Amen. You know, it ain't nothing wrong with being greedy for the right thing. I'm greedy for God. Never do I ever want to feel as though that I have enough of him. Never. Because if you feel as though you have enough, I advise you to go back and regroup. Look deep in your soul. You're going to find a whole lot of things that you're still missing. 
Glory to God that you in need of. Don't look at how long you've been saved, how long you have the Holy Ghost. Get me. How long you've been baptized. Don't look at none of that. Keep your eyes on God himself. When a man or a woman take their eyes off God, they're going to sink. Amen. Amen. Let me say this while I come to mind before I forget. Tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock here in this facility, I want all the ministers of Jamaica here. Tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock so I can mend all of you. Amen. Amen. The Apostle Paul said, I said all things in order when I come. God has made us a fisherman. That's how all you end up here. The word of God, God put it out there and you start biting and some of you are stubborn. I know many of you thought you had never been nothing like this. You fought it. Many of you fought it. Some of you here are ex-women preachers. Some of you here are ex-preachers, ex-deacons. Former junior elders and junior ministers. Some of you thought you were apostles. Some of you are ex-prophets. Mm-hmm ex-drug dealers, smokers, and drinkers. A whole lot was broken in you. Word of God come literally to crush and to dismantle everything that is in us or of us that's not of God because as long as those things are there, we are open for rebellion. Or we take God against God. And when there's rebellion in us towards God, that's a witchcraft spirit that's there. I want everybody to hear me and follow me from the book of Samuel. I want to soak you a little. Amen. Amen. I enjoyed all the program and I thank God how the talent is just forever increasing in the church. Sounds beautiful too. Amen. The song that the Brother Sang, I think, representing Montego Bay, if I'm correct. Oh, it was sweet to my ear. God be our help, but we're going to keep preaching, and Drew, you keep writing. I believe what the Bible says. But believing, see, can you put some music to this? Believing is not enough. Belief only will not save you. I want to say what? <laughs> Belief only will not save you. In James chapter 2 and verse 17. When Noah was preaching, they can believe it's going to rain all they want. They had to obey That's right. That's right. in order to be rescued from the flood. Are you listening? Follow me in the book of Samuel. Now in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15. And we'll start reading at verse 22. All right. Hear this. And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices? As in obeying the voice of the Lord. I wait to Mike or whoever give that hum out. 
because I want great delight to be here. Have the Lord as great delight, have great pleasure in burnt offerings and sacrifices, in sacrifices and in burnt offerings, as in obeying the voice of the Lord, as in obeying Him. Behold, to obey, to obey is better than sacrifice. Is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. Yes. For rebellion. Hear this. First Samuel 15 and verse 23. Hear this. For rebellion. Rebellion. Is as the sin of witchcraft. Making a comparison. That's right. Rebellion is as. The sin of witchcraft. The sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness. And stubbornness. Is as iniquity is as iniquity and idolatry and stubbornness is equal to you being an idol worshiper that's right are you listening that's right idolatry is when you wish up anything else and make that thing your God, right. other than the God of heaven. Right. When you wish up it, serve it, honor it more than you do God. Yeah. It got your attention more than God does. That's right. And don't look at idolatry as something made of clay only mm. and wood and stone. Money can be your God. A man can be your God. A woman, a job, a title, a position, anything of this earth, you can make it your God. Think of it. Listen at the prophet Samuel. Hear good now. First Samuel 15 and verse 23. What is it? For rebellion. Rebellion. Is as the sin of witchcraft. Hold it. Bible wants to show us how dangerous it is and how serious it is. If rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, what is witchcraft? In order for you to understand how great rebellion is and how is it compared to witchcraft, you have to know what is witchcraft and who performs Witchcraft. Are you listening? In the Bible, a male witchcraft worker is called a wizard. As the wizard was in the days of Philip the Evangelist, a sorcerer. Most time the female is called a witch. In some religion, some areas, witchcraft is a religion, like voodoo. Engaging in dealing with spirits that one may be possessed or taken over by a spirit and the spirit that take them over calls them not to cooperate with the spirit of God. That's right. Now, hear me good. If rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, then Paul told the church in Galatia, O oh foolish Galatia, who hath bewitched you. In other words, what spirit came over you? Glory to God that ye should not obey the truth. So when you are disobedient, or rebellious, you are equal to one that indulge in witchcraft. witchcraft. 
because another spirit got a hold of you. That's right. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18. Follow me in the Bible, and I want everybody listening and watching around the world and that are here, examine yourself. That's right. What spirit is moving on you? All right, then. That's right. What spirit is causing you to do this? Yeah. What spirit is causing you to say this? What spirit is causing you to go here? What spirit is causing you to act like this? Before anybody say, the Lord says this, and the Lord says that, and the Lord calls me to do this, wait. wait. And she is that spirit that's dealing with her or him or them is in compliance with the letter. That's right. For if that spirit contradicted the letter, that spirit didn't come from God. That's right. That's a witchcraft spirit. Witchcraft spirit. Because if the spirit of God move on me to do anything, I won't act in a rebellious way. And if the spirit of God calls me to tell you anything, you won't be on the receiving end of a message that make you rebel. That's right. Why is it compared to a witchcraft spirit? A witchcraft spirit make one act out of the norm. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. And when the man or woman influenced by a witchcraft spirit, they are reacting as a puppet. Because another spirit, another power, another entity got a hold of him and her, and if you can't tell the difference, there's two spirits. Give me the epistle of John. In the book of I want to talk a little bit about the spirit world. Amen. There are two spirits here. That's right. Listen at this. First John chapter 4 will start at verse 1. That's what? Beloved, believe not every spirit. Beloved, church, believe not every spirit. I don't believe every tongue to be the Holy Ghost. Amen. I don't believe every jerk is of God. No. I don't believe everything coming to the pulpit is the anointing of God. That's right. And I don't believe every message comes from God. That's right. The problem with the church today, we are ignorant of Satan. That's right. And we are ignorant of God. Satan is God's creation. Yes. So when Jesus said, learn of me, not just learn of him as being God only, but you better learn what he created. Right. For the Bible says, don't be ignorant of Satan what? Devices. That's right. It's important not to be ignorant of Satan devices. Why is that important? Lest Satan should get an advantage of us. Do you hear this? In 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. Lest, lest Satan should get. Satan should get. An advantage of us. An advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. If you don't know how Satan operates. If you don't know how Satan functions, if you don't know what Satan sounds like, if you don't know what Satan feels like. That's right. That's right. Do you know what the devil feel like? That's right. Who is that moving on you? Yeah. Who is that that you call the Holy Ghost? That's right. Can you know or do you know God enough to 
declare that tongue as another tongue from above or another tongue from beneath. Amen. Amen. Who is moving on you when you're in the pulpit? That's right. Is it God? Is it Satan? Or is it a feeling? Mm. Are you listening? Amen. On the day of Pentecost, when they was filled with the Holy Ghost as the Spirit gave the utterance, they knew it. They knew it. What it was, they knew it. who it was. Do you know who it is hmm. and what it is? That's right. Or are you racing to compete with someone else? Amen. And because you didn't wait on God, you just declared, I got it. Yeah. Another tongue, another tongue, another tongue, another language. When one received the Holy Ghost, it's the clarity of another language. That's right. Not da, 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 da. No, ma, 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 ma. That is not a language. No. That's not even good English. <laughs> That's right. Ma, 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 ma is not another tongue. No. Someone say, well, that's what I say, then you don't have it. That's right. Bible says in the second chapter of Acts, I how never... here we speak in our own language. 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 Wherein we was born, and my, 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 is not one language like that on this earth. That's right. That's right. Come back to Bible. Back to Bible. Come back to Bible. Amen. Who is moving on you? Book of John. First John chapter four and at verse one. I want to show you two spirits in the Bible. Beloved, believe not every spirit. I don't believe nothing. <laughs> That's right. But what's written? That's it. That's why I don't get close to nobody. That's right. Closer than what's written. Amen. I stay neutral in the corner when I look around, no one there but the Lord. <laughs> Amen. You that declared you received the Holy Ghost throughout the Caribbean, throughout America, throughout Canada, throughout Europe. Be sure. You're not lying on God. That's right. This is what the Holy Ghost brought to you tonight. Amen. Bible says we have a more sure, sure. word of prophecy. That's right. Be sure that this is not formality. That's right. Be sure, Be sure this is not habit forming. Amen. If God don't move you, be still. Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. The most scariest thing is to stand before God Believing you have something, and then he tell you, depart from me. So my job as an ambassador is to reevaluate your claim and make sure it has a Bible seal of approval on it. That's right. Because the Holy Ghost put you in the church. And if you believe you got something you don't have, you will never get in the church as long as you believe it. That's right. Make sure you got it. Hallelujah. 
Make sure you have it like it's written. That's it. I don't get excited when I get reports from around the world. Five receive it, 20 receive it, 30 receive it. Anyone that been around me a period of time? No, I don't. No, you don't. Is it possible? Yes. The reason why I don't get excited is because of the Bible. That's right. Know what you have. That's right. There ain't no minister in here got the proof of you, speak, of you speaking. No. You can go to a minister. Didn't you hear me speak? <coughs> Who cares what he say? That's right. Your Holy Ghost is not a relationship between you and no minister in Jamaica. That's right. Your Holy Ghost is a relationship between you and God, not you and Pastor Jennings. That's right. It's you and God. That's it. Two spirits. Two spirits. Listen at the book of John. First John 4 and at verses 1. Follow me in heaven. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Beloved, believe not every spirit. But try the spirits. Whether wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Amen. Listen at the language. Do try what? But try the spirits. Spell it. S-P-I-R-I-T-S. -I -I There's more than one spirit out here. That's right. Try it. Try the spirits. Why? Whether they are of God. <laughs> Elijah did it. That's right. It is written the Lord gonna pass by. Wrapped himself his face in a mantle. Face in a mantle. But the Lord didn't pass by right away. No. Other things came first. That's right. Listen. First Kings chapter 19 and we're at verse 10. Hear this. And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts. I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts. For the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant. They left your covenant. Thrown down thine altars. Thrown down the altar mean they got rid of God's worship. And slain thy prophets with the sword. Slain the prophets mean they didn't want to hear the preacher no more. And I, even I, only am left. And I'm the only one left And how they feel about him. And they seek my life. They want to kill him. To take it away. What? And he said, go forth and stand upon the mountain before the Lord. Yes. And behold, the Lord passed by. Did the Lord pass by you? Hmm. Or did you get hype in the service? Yeah. He came out, I don't know who your daddy is. That's right. Amen. Speaking in tongue is a teaching that most folk have never received. They don't know what it is, and they don't know what to look for. Yeah. Most people cannot tell the difference between a stammering lip and another tongue. Another tongue. And if you can't even identify a stammering lip from another tongue, how can you rightfully claim properly what you have? That's right. You got to know what you have you before you declare it. That's right. That goes for you preachers. Amen. If you don't have the Holy Ghost from heaven, you're not in the body. That's right. You're not in the church. In the church. Satan is an imitator of the Spirit of God. Yeah. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. Yeah. Satan imitates the Spirit of the living God. He's a shape shifter. Amen. Well, I know the devil. Do you? Do you? There's two mysteries in the Bible pointing to spirit. Great is the mystery of godliness, and the Bible said the mystery of iniquity. Of iniquity. Doth already work. 
Are you able to recognize the mysterious actions of Satan? Where you don't get it mixed up and declare it to be God. That's right. Someone said, but the spirit move on me to get Bible. So did the devil bring Bible to Jesus. That's right. The devil brings Bible. That's right. And the devil brought Bible to Jesus and quoted it, right? Quoted it. But his spirit was wrong. That's right. And because the spirit was wrong, his agenda behind the quotation was wrong. was wrong. Listen. Still in 1 Kings 19 and verse 11. Follow me. And he said, go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by. Lord passed by. And a great and strong wind rent the mountains and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. A great and strong what? A great and strong wind rent the mountains. Wait. A great and strong what? A great and strong wind. Give me Acts. Mm. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Let's see the imitation. Mm. Acts chapter 2. A great and strong what? Wind. A great and strong what, church? Wind. What was it? Wind. wind. And what the king say about the wind? And a great and strong wind. Rent Read it, son. And a great and strong wind rent the mountains. And what? And break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. And? But the Lord was not in the wind. Now give me Acts. Acts chapter 2 and was at verse 2. That's what? And suddenly there came a sound from heaven. As what? As of a rushing mighty wind. One wind God was in, the other wind God wasn't, but they both was wind. That's right. And they both shake. Yeah, that's right. They both shake. That's right. Who's shaking you? Mm. Do you shake when you hear your selective minister in Jamaica? My Lord. Do you shake when you hear Baker? But you don't shake when you hear another minister. Amen. You only got a shake and bake. <laughs> Do you shake only when you hear Brother Gary? Mm. But you can't shake when you hear another minister? Amen. Do you got a shaking Gary ghost? Mm. If any of you here in Jamaica from any temple only feel the spirit of God only when your so-called minister minister to you you only feel the speaking in tongue when your minister is ministering amen you feel a wind and your rocks is renting. Rocks is renting. But God ain't in it. That's right. The Lord was not in the wind. Prove it, Pastor Jennings. The Bible says he that had respect the person right. commits sin. Sin. Commit sin. And sin is the spirit of confusion. That's right. And God is not the author of confusion. So if I only feel the spirit, come here, Baker. If I only feel the spirit when Baker's ministry, come here, Brother Gary. And he's telling the truth. But when Brother Minister Gary ministered, I don't feel anything mm. ever. And then those that love to hear Brother Minister Gary minister, they. And brother Baker minister nothing nothing now if you got favoritism but if he have respect a person what ye commit sin so if you only feel 
a moving where you favor one of the ministers, it ain't God. That's right. It's sin. That's right. That's right. Amen. My job as an apostle of Jesus Christ is to prepare you to meet God. Yeah. Prepare you to meet God. I'm not coming back for you. That's right. None of the ministers are coming back for you. And they're not going to die for you. That's right. The Lord himself. The Lord himself. Shall descend, hallelujah, from heaven with a shout. That's right. That is one of the big problems that I see here in Jamaica. Favoritism. Amen. Someone said, how are you going to see that in your way in America? It ain't no temple here better than another. That's right. It ain't no temple here more spiritual than another. No minister is better than another. For they all got to walk by the same rule. If not, they all will go to the same hell. That's right. You brothers and sisters, I have preached for years. Don't get too close to no minister. What have you proved getting close to a minister? Some of y'all sisters get more closer to the minister than you do your own husband. My Lord. Some of y'all brothers get so close to a minister, you actually debate and argue with your own brothers in another temple. And you only got one overseer, and you're looking at him. That's right. That's right. We not gonna have no truth of God split down the middle. No way. There's one church here. That's right. One body. That's right. One people. That's who Jesus died for. That's right. No location should be in competition with another. That's right. What are you competing for? Don't you know that they that run in the race run all? Run all. Only one get the prize. That's right. So run that you may obtain. Who are you in competition with? Amen. Who are you trying to outdo? Take your time and live holy. That's it. Take off. Take your time. Hallelujah. Live holy. What are you rushing for? Amen. This is a lifetime living. What are you trying to outdo each other? This ain't competition. This is holy living. And it takes time to master it. Oh, yes. Are you listening? Amen. 
John says. Back in 1 John chapter 4 and at verse 1. Follow me. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Do what? But try the spirits, whether they are of God. Yes. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Down at verse 6. Said what? We are of God. Are you listening to this? Give chapter and verse. 1 John chapter 4 and we're at verse 6. We are. We are of God. Of God. He that knoweth God heareth he us. He that know God. Heareth us. He that recognize God. That's right. He that can identify God. That's right. He that know God. Heareth us. Will hear God's word. He that is not of God. He. Now if you're not of God, you got to be of somebody else. That's right. So if you're not of God, the only one left is you're of the devil. That's right. He that is not of God, that is not of God, heareth not us, won't hear God's word. Hereby know we the spirit of truth. And what other spirit? And the spirit of error. Them are the two spirits that's in the church. That's right. Spirit of truth without question. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. Spirit of truth without question is the spirit of God. Yeah. Spirit of error. Spirit of the devil. The devil. And people will get carried away yeah. over an error. Oh, yeah. You can sit in the truth, or let me put it this way. You can sit in the sound of truth, and yet the sound go over your head. That's right. Because the word of God is not getting in you. That's it. Rocks rent. Back in 1 Kings chapter 19, Say and at verse 11. Imitating what God can do. That's right. God was not in the wind. But the Lord was not in the wind. What else? And after the wind. After the wind. An, an earthquake. Shaking of the earth. That's what's shaking your body? Mm -hmm. What's quaking your earth? Quaking. Right in other words, who's quickening you? Amen. That's right. Yeah. Is it habit? That's right. Are you so impressed with the way the Lord deal with somebody? You admire them too much, and now you doing the same thing. Amen. I didn't say the Holy Ghost is making you do it. You're doing it. Right. Amen. Years ago, I was training a brother in Alabama. He backslid now. And I was training him years ago. And I was getting calls from him. Pastor Dennis, five received the Holy Ghost this week. Ten the following week. Seven the following week. I know it's possible with God. But my spirit was troubled. Mm. So I said, why did you just, why didn't you just take his word? I have to take the Bible first. <laughs> I said, well, Williams, we're going to Alabama. I say there's a lot of earthquaking there. <laughs> That's right. A whole lot of folk, according to the report, was receiving the Holy Ghost, and I know it's possible, but I knew it didn't happen. Right. I want to say, how did you know? The Holy Ghost was dealing with me, <laughs> and I went there. This was over 25 years ago. We came through the back door of the place we were renting at the time, and they were in prayer. Amen. And Williams and I got in the pulpit and got on our knees. <laughs> and my judgment, my God-given judgment, was right. Yeah. The fella that was there had a tongue. It wasn't another tongue, but it was a tongue. That's right. And it was just, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. That's right. And then he would just go, grr, grr, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Grr, grr, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Amen. <laughs> so, while I was on my knees, I stopped praying. <laughs> I looked at Williams. He said, what's that? Right. 
countless of people in the congregation was imitating the brother that was a minister. Everything in the building was Amen. trying to sound like him. Yeah. Everything was going, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. That's when I met Huey. <laughs> yeah, it got him too. <laughs> he, don't, he, don't, he don't like what I talk about it. But the good thing is, he was able to receive the message and say, man, I don't have it. When I first met him, he came and shook my hand. This one was going, get it, get it, Another one's going, get it, get it, get it. So here he introduced himself to me after service. Come here, Shade. He shook my hand. He said, greeting, Pastor Jennings. I'm your new brother, Ricky Johnson. Now, he didn't do a grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Yeah. Lying on the Lord is blaspheme. Oh, yes. Did you hear me? That's right. That's how dangerous and how serious it is. That's right. Lying on God is blasphemy. Amen. Don't run ahead of the spirit, which means don't run ahead of the scriptures. That's right. Jesus said, the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, and you don't want to run ahead of what's written. That's it. The Lord was not in the wind. But the Lord was not in the wind. What else came? And after the wind, an earthquake. Earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. The Lord wasn't in that either. And after the earthquake, a fire. Wait. What? After the earthquake, a fire. And what? But the Lord was not in the fire. Give me, I believe, Matthew, Matthew. one come after me. Right. Let's work on the fire. That's right. Matthew chapter 3 and at verse 11. Follow me. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. God said, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me he is that mightier than me I. Is mightier than I. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. What are you going to do? He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. With what? And with fire. But what happened in Kings? And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. Who is responsible for your fire? That's right. You got one fire here, the Lord admit he ain't in it. Not in but then you got John said, one come after me who gonna baptize with the Holy Ghost and, and that with fire. with fire. You got two forms of fire. That's right. One fire is the spirit of truth. The other fire is the spirit of error. error. Which one do you have and which one do you know is God and can you identify? That's right. If you need me or Ferguson or Gary or Jones or any of the brothers to identify it for you, don't claim it. That's right. If I put on a white shirt, I don't need to ask Bishop Ferguson, what color shirt do I got on? No. Pastor Janice, can't you see? That's right. I think it's white, but it looked black to me. He gonna give me his glasses. <laughs> Amen. Do you recognize the fire? Give me strange fire. In the book of Leviticus chapter 10. Now, the spirit of error is a fire, but it's a strange fire. That's right. Follow me. In the book of Leviticus chapter 10 and at verse 1. Listen. And Nadab and Nadab, Abilene, these are the sons of error. The sons of error. These were the sons of a preacher. Mm. Sons of the high priest. That's right. Nadab. And Nadab and Abihu. And Abihu. The sons of Aaron. The sons of Aaron. Took either who was of them, the brother of Moses. That's right. Did what? Took either of them his censer. They took either of them their censer. And put fire therein. Put fire in it. And put incense thereon. And what? And offered strange fire. They offered strange fire. Be, before the Lord. Before who? Before the Lord. Who got you burning? All right, then. Amen. Amen. Strange fire. What kind of fire got your tongue moving? Is it strange, strange. or is it from heaven? Amen. What kind of fire got you behaving the way you are? That's right. Is it strange fire, strange. or is it from heaven? Yeah. Because the fire which is the Holy Ghost, which is God, will not make you do anything that break the scriptures, That's right. will not make you say anything that break the scriptures, will not make you feel anything that break the scriptures, right. will not make you think anything that break the scriptures, will not make you dream anything that break the scriptures, will not make you perform anything that break the scriptures, because the fire says to believe on him as the scripture have said. Amen. Someone said, Pastor, you know, a lot of folk ain't saying amen. Good. <laughs> That's right. I want you to listen so it can get in you. That's right. And do some soul searching. That's right. yeah. Is this habit? Amen. Or is it the Holy Ghost in that with fire? I remember years ago, ha, 
Philadelphia, there was a stick in the chair. Our sister didn't see it. <laughs> and when she sat down, the sharpness of the stick poked her backside, and she jumped up. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Strange fire. Strange fire. Fire went here. <laughs> The reason why this message is necessary, strange fire is circulating more and more and more. What do you think Benny Hinn and all these fellas do when they throw their jacket and right. people fall out by 30 or 50,000? They do it by the act of strange fire, but they declare it's the Holy Ghost. That's right. You must recognize God from the devil in you. That's right. You must recognize God because remember, Satan is a God. He's called the God of this world. And it is written, he hath blind the minds of them that believe not. Are you listening? Fire, strange fire, Holy Ghost and that with fire. Think of it. Are you able to identify? Can you speak in tongue when you feel like it? Mm. That's strange fire. That's strange fire. Do you speak in tongue only once a year when Pastor Jennings comes? <laughs> Do you truly got strange fire? Truly strange fire. Are you listening? Amen. I want to suck you a little. And offered strange fire before the Lord. They offered strange fire before who? Before the Lord. Before God. Which he commanded them not. He did what? Which he commanded them not. When people tell the ministers they received the Holy Ghost, all the ministers can do is take their word. That's all. That's all the ministers can do. Just take their word. Ministers ain't responsible for giving the Holy Ghost. That's all they can do. Right. All they can do is report. Pastor Genesis 15, we see the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. That's all they can do. And then pray that it's the real thing. Amen. It is not their place to run behind nobody and ask them, do you have it? Right. But it is their place to preach to that know for certain that you have it. That's right. So no false claims is made. That's right. Listen, you got gold and fool's gold. You got salt and salt substitute. A lot of folk can't eat real salt because it makes the blood pressure shoot up. Yeah. So they get hypocrite salt. It's white like salt. It feels like salt, but it don't have the power of salt. That's right. When you sprinkle salt substitute on the greens, it don't resurrect those greens like real salt. No. But when you get real salt, the real McCoy, right. or if they got the word of God said, salt is good. I don't want the church from the Lord Jesus Christ fall into having a form of godliness. But yet deny the power thereof. I'm not so overwhelmed with the growth that I'm going to overlook the Bible. Where there's growth, there's more hypocrisy. Where there's growth, there's more formality. Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 5. Someone say, how is that, Pastor Jesus? Because there are people who don't know. And they start doing what they see other people do, thinking this is how it's supposed to be. That's right. And a lot of them are innocent victims of formality. Yeah. So they see what you're doing, and they try to do it. That's right. Sometime a person wants the Holy Ghost so bad, I remember years ago, sister brought a sister in the church or to the building, and the sister was seeking the Holy Ghost. And uh, the one she invited to church repented, got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and this sister truly received the Holy Ghost. The one that had been coming to church was coming for years, but the one that just came, she ended up receiving it quicker than the one that had been coming for years. And the one that was coming for years, that put a zeal in her. But what happened? 
the zeal made her run too fast. She was so overzealous. She wouldn't wait on the Lord. So one Sunday, the sister that received the Holy Ghost, who she invited to church, the Lord was shaking her body. She was speaking in tongues. She got so jealous. God the jealous, perhaps, until she wouldn't wait on the Lord. So she started moving. Zeal got the best of her. She wouldn't wait on God. She didn't want the sister to beat her. So it became competition. Amen. Where are they now, Pastor Jennings? Both of them backslid. Why? They didn't stay around the word long enough to get roots in them. That's right. And when the lust of other things, the Bible says, enter in, chokes the word, and therefore you become unfruitful. We see all of these souls. When we first started coming to Jamaica, we only had about eight to ten people. And the message of holiness now have turned you into a few thousand. Amen. And it's going to get bigger and bigger. But I have to, by God's permission, make you be self-aware right. to know God and know Satan. That's right. And know yourself. Right. Hereby. Hereby know we the spirit of truth. Do you know it? And, and the spirit of error. Spirit of error, spirit of blunder, spirit of mistakes, spirit of rushing. That's right. Go back to Samuel. Everybody all right? Yeah. Are you getting this? Yeah. Amen. Back in 1 Samuel 15 and verse 23. I want to soak you a little. For rebellion. Rebellion, hard-headedness. Is as the sea Is compared witchcraft. to witchcraft. As Do you have a witchcraft spirit? Yeah. Are you hard-headed? Are you rebellious? And if the answer is yes, you have a witchcraft spirit. That's right. right. That's right. In other words, another spirit that came over you and made you rebel and made you hard head. Yeah. While you are hard head, you have a witchcraft spirit at that time. Yeah. That's right. Why are you acting out rebellion? While you're acting out stubbornness, while you're acting out hard-headedness, you are under the influence of a witchcraft spirit. Oh, foolish Galatians. Hear this. Now in the book of Galatians chapter 3 and verse 1. Bible, look at Paul preaching to the church in Galatia. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 1. What is it? Oh, foolish Galatians. What do we call them? Foolish Galatians. What did he ask? Who hath bewitched you? Wait a minute. When you are bewitched, another spirit got you, and what does it make you do? That ye should not obey the truth. When you don't obey the truth, you don't follow instructions, you don't follow leadership, and you're not doing what you're told. Why? A witchcraft spirit got you. That's right. Which is the spirit of error. It's not the anointing, it's the spirit of error. That's right. Now, what did the Bible call them? Oh, foolish Galatians. Devil's making a fool out of you. Oh, yeah. Who hath? Who hath bewitched you? Imagine. Rebellion is equal to black magic. Mm. The spirit of stubbornness and hard-headedness is compared to sorcery, witchcraft, black baggage, hoodoo, voodoo. That's right. This is how God frowned upon hard-headedness. That's right. So much until the Bible said, I suffer not a rich to live. The Spirit of God ain't never made nobody be rebellious against him. No. The Spirit of God is the spirit of humility. The spirit of God make us submit to him. 
not fight him. Even if I don't understand it, I'm going to submit to him. That's right. And I'm going to ask God to help me to understand that I may know my place in God. You always, thank God, want to know your place in God. Amen. Don't try to compete with nobody. And don't come to church and try to keep up with nobody. Peter said, save who? Save yourselves. Well, you think that's written for, for fun? This is a personal journey. That's right. Between you and God. That's right. Oh, foolish Galatians. Are you foolish tonight? Amen. Has a spirit got a hold of you and bewitched you? Bewitched you. That what? That ye should not obey the truth. That made you hard head? Before whose eyes Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth. Before whose eyes? Jesus Christ has Jesus been. Jesus Christ, the work of Christ and the manifestation of Christ has been evidently set forth. Have you not seen the work of God seen it. That's and the right. power of God and the presence of God made manifest? That's right. And yet the devil still make you foolish? Yeah. Don't be overzealous. Oh, yes. Take your time. When you become overzealous, you're going to go right into hell. Take your time. Listen. And always sit in judgment on yourself. And when the preacher's minister, they better judge themselves. Amen. Don't ever minister to the people like the word of God ain't for you. You got to sit in judgment on yourself unless you be cast away. Just like Paul declared. That's right. Get me. Back in 1 Samuel 15 and verse 23. That's what? For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And what else? And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. When I leave the country, don't run to no minister That's and right. say, after Pastor Jennings preached this, I don't know whether I got the Holy Ghost or not. Mm. That's up to you. Amen. Then you better judge yourself. Amen. And all the minister can say, well, you better go tarry. That's right. Because the Bible said we have a more sure word of prophecy. I don't know whether I got the Holy Ghost or not. Then you better go seek the Lord. That's right. That's between you and God. That's right. You can't make it between you and God and the minister. You can't. No. It's between you and God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. Hallelujah. What the Holy Ghost said. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Is as. As. That's a strong comparison. Yes, it is. So when you said, the Lord made you say this, the Lord made you do this, the Lord made you act this way, and yet that act, that deed, that thought is rebellion. Rebellion. It's not God. That's right. It wasn't the move of God. I want you brothers and sisters to hear this. Amen. It's the spirit of error. Amen. Yes, amen. And the spirit of error Overzealousness feeds it. Yeah. That's why Satan thrive where there's confusion. That's right. When you got confusion, it, Satan feeds off of it. That's right. It's like certain parasites in the body. It's hard to get rid of those parasites when you're on the wrong diet. Yeah. That's why when I travel in so many foreign countries, when I get back, I go to my herbalist, Dr. Burton. And he always give me what is called a dewormer. Two herbs. One is wormwood. And I forgot the other one, roll something. And it's herbs. And I have to take six of each every day till both bottles are empty. Those herbs cleans my system and rid my body of all unknown parasites. Amen. Flush it out. I come to bring you the herb of scripture, the tree of life. The tree of life. That our temple that belongs to God yeah. may be flushed out of all spiritual parasites. Yes. Some of y'all here got more of the minister in you than God. Lord. 
Some of you more filled up with your local minister than God. My Lord. And I'm going to take your local minister out of you. That's right. And replace that minister with the Bible. That's right. You have the local minister in you, you're going to go to hell. Amen. You have Jesus in you, you got a better chance to get right. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. It's sad because many of the members sitting right in the church can see it. Mm. And many brothers in the pulpit are so busy ministering on other things, they don't even see what's right in front of them. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, can you lead the people if you're blind ministers? That's right. The blind lead the blind, the both, Bible says. Both you both will go to hell. That's right. Don't be scared to touch it, deal with it. The Bible says it's Christ divided. That's right. One say, I am of Paul. Another, I am of Apollos. For it has been declared Here, chapter unto and verse. Me. In the book of 1 Corinthians this chapter This is the one. same problem that happened when the apostles was here. That's right. And I want all of you First churches of the Lord Jesus Christ around the world to get this message. It ain't just for Jamaica, it's for everybody. Everybody. Hear this, you that are watching. First Corinthians chapter one, we're at verse 11. I remember years ago, I sent my brother, Brother Jennings, somewhere in, and the whole Rocky Mount church took it upon themselves to close the doors and go with him. Then I sent another minister to the same place. And the Rocky Mountain Church wouldn't go with him. And I told the whole church, all of you are hypocrites. Because you've got to be equally supportive of each other. That's right. Bible talk about love without dissimulation. dissimulation. Meaning without hypocrisy. That's right. Are you listening? First Corinthians chapter one, we're at verse 11. Follow me. For it has been declared unto me of you, wait, my wait, brother. Wait, wait, wait. A report was given to the apostle. It has been declared. It's been declared unto Paul. Me of you, my brother. Of you, church. By them which are of the house of Chloe. By them that was of Chloe's house. That there are contentions among you. Amen. I am sitting in a pulpit and I can feel contention here in Jamaica. Lord. My Lord. You see, the Bible got everything in here. Amen. The Holy Ghost said. For it has been declared unto me of you, my brethren. What? By them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. What? Now this I say. This is the contention. This is the problem. Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul. That's, that's you. Amen. I am of Gary. And I of Apollos. I am of Baker. And I of Cephas. I am of one of the other ministers. And I of Christ. I am one of the other ministers. What's the question? Is Christ divided? Amen. Is Christ what? Is Christ divided? Amen. What's the other question? Was Paul crucified for you? Was any of these brothers that's ministering, was they, did they die for you? then get out of their face. That's right. Amen. When I reprimand Brother Robinson over the air, some in Jamaica didn't like it. What do I care what you don't like? That's right. He's not above reprimanding no more than anybody else. Yes. He get it wrong, I gotta reprimand him. That's, right. That's my job. That's job. And I'm gonna do my job like the Bible says. That's right. 
And if he can't take reprimand, then, then he got to be fired because he can't tell you to submit and he don't do it. Right. Now, after I reprimand him, there's no need for no other minister. That's right. They get up in your local temple and start running off at your mouth. Amen. If it's overseer, they'll recommend, reprimand them. You shut up. That's right. Don't try to do my job. No. If I don't correct them, don't you go vent your feelings to the congregation of your local temple. That's right. Because then that make it divisive. And that make your area start taking sides. Yeah. No one said, why you correct him over the air? Because what he done was open. Open. The Bible said rebuke openly that others may fear. Folks ain't been around me long enough, Shade, to know how I am. No. When I say I don't get too close to nobody, I'm not playing. That's right. Anytime I reprimand my father, who been dead 32 years. That's right. And that man ain't closer to me than my father. Yeah. When I reprimand my father, my father got up. That's before I met practically any of you. He read the scripture about 120. It was up there in the upper room on the day of Pentecost. He looked at the word about and got up and preached. It was 119. When he was done, before he got from that pulpit, I said, wait, 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 wait. I said, hey, hey, Pop, where you get 119 from? He said, Gino, there you go again. I said, I, I said no, 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 no. He said, the Bible says about 120. And so it had to be 119. I said, okay, somebody can come and say it was 122, 121, yeah. 123. He said, what you said? I said, I'm going to say what the Bible says about 120. I said, so being that you tore it open, go right back before the church and straighten it out. He looked, he said, ha! He said, boy, I got newfound respect for you. He said, I'm your father. He said, anytime you won't let me get away, I ain't worrying about nobody else. Amen. Thank God knows that's the truth. No minister. I reprimand him openly, and he also talked to me in person, one on one, in the Bahamas. Right. Someone said I didn't know that. Okay, it's not your business. Right. <laughs> My thing is, as long as he get on the right track, that's it. That's it. That's now, no minister got the right to lay stipulation on his repentance and say, well. I didn't feel it. There's no Bible that says you got to feel it. The Bible says he got to do it. That's it. I heard some of y'all apologies and I ain't feel nothing. <laughs> Bible don't tell me I got to feel it. No. Bible say I got to do it. But he got to make sure it's from this heart and the sincerity of his heart. If not, he'll be lost. That's right. You know, sometimes God will let a thing happen so we can see ourselves. And it also will show the weakness that is in some of you. You know why? The error that he made, some of y'all believed it. Which shows you sit under this teaching and it's not in you. He was more in you than holiness was. Otherwise than that, his error couldn't sway some of you. Some of y'all were swayed and ate it up and believed it. Amen. And if he would have got up today and said, I'm going to start my own church, you know what some of y'all would have done? <laughs> you think I don't know what's in some of you? That's right. 
That's right. And yet he didn't preach one thing to bring you in the truth. Amen. The broadcast brought you in here. Amen. Go to show you how shallow you shallow. are, yeah. how weak you are. You're sitting around here not getting the word in you. I'm in the truth of God. So what? That's right. Is the truth of God in you? That's it. I'm on a pastor Jenna. So what? Yeah. It's Christ in you. It's Christ in you. You can go to hell while you're here. That's true. I don't think that much of no minister in Jamaica from anywhere else. Amen. 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 I have no favoritism. No, you don't. I have no respect to person. No, you don't. Any of you ministers get up and make a mess. Correct it openly. Amen. That's right. And once they repent, stop holding it over their head. That's right. <laughs> Don't hold it over their head. Well, I remember when they did this. What about what you done and presently are doing? Amen. Someone say, whoo, I didn't know he was going to teach this tonight. The Holy Ghost is going to bring you what you got to have. Amen. This is church. This is Holy Ghost church. Oh, yes. The Bible says. Now this I say in 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 12. Now this I say that every one of you says, I am a Paul. I'm going to break that stuff up. Yeah. And if you think Jamaica is the only place where I break it up, think again. Amen. Oh, no. Uh -uh. Everywhere Amen. I go in the world yes. where we have a lot of ministers, I find myself facing the same thing yes. over and over and over, and I got to preach this same thing in every country, especially when you got a lot of ministers. Yeah. Because some of them start competing against each other. If I ordain a man, some get jealous. Some get mad. Amen. Why? They want it. But when you're like that, you got a competitive spirit. That's right. That's right. Brother was talking to me today, and he referred to Brother Gary as Bishop. I said, don't you call him Bishop. He said, but I said, I know I teach. The Bible tells us the bishop is an elder. Right. But when I ordain a young man an elder, don't call him bishop. Right, right. Why do you do it like that, Pastor Jennings? For humble purposes. Humble. When they start getting old, then perhaps I call them bishop. Why are they young? Elder, brother, or minister. Right. And if you don't call them elder, that's fine. You can call them brother. Yeah. And no one should correct you. Or you disrespecting the minister. If you can't be called a brother, you'll go to hell. That's right. Young brothers that been ordained elders, call them elder or brother or minister, not bishop. Yes. Some of y'all so title crazy, you'll think you've been ordained. <laughs> That's right. Bishop, bishop, oh, hush your mouth. Hush your mouth. Brother, it's hard to be a brother. Amen. Easy to wear a title, but it's hard to live up to it. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. You call any ordained brother, brother, and that brother lay you out, he's high-minded. Because at any time the apostles can be called brother, who are we? That's right. I'm your brother. That's right. I don't care if folk don't walk around, Pastor Jennifer, I ain't worrying about that. I'm your brother. I'm either your brother or your enemy. I ain't no title crazy man. Brothers in Minnesota, right away, they start calling my brother, Elder Jennings, Bishop, and he got on them. He told them, no, go calling me Bishop. Just stick to what I'm being addressed as elder. Right. Just leave it just like that. Amen. Why? For humble purposes. Some folk just like the way it sounds. That's right. 
Bishop Williams. Ah. Ha, cha, 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 cha. Title don't make nobody. You got to live up to it. Oh, yes. Some of the brothers that's ministering, if they would run off tonight mm. and try to start a false church, some of y'all right there in that temple will follow them. My Lord. That's how weak some of y'all are, and that's how shallow some of y'all are, and that's how close, dangerously close, you got to some of these ministers until you let them become your friend. I don't care nothing about your friendship. All I care is about saving your soul from hell. That's right. These overseers won't preach this no. because they're afraid of retaliation. The only fear of retaliation I have is if God retaliates, not people. That's right. I'm not seeking friends and I ain't begging for love. I'm striving to get out of, go away from hell and go to God in eternity. And God knows I'm going to tell the truth as much as God put in me. Amen. The Bible says what? Now this I say that every one of you says, I am of Paul. That's some of you here. And that's some of you that are watching. Amen. Some of you are in California, too close to Minister Santana. Amen. Santana this, Santana that, San Santana nothing. All he is is a servant. Yeah. All he can do is go from one place to the other like he's at. Some of y'all in Texas is too close to Wint. Get out of Wint's face. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Some of you are too close to my blood brother. Jennings, get out of his face. Yeah. Some of you are too close to me. Get out of my face because I ain't trying to be close to you. That's right. You better get close to that Bible That's or right. go to hell. That's right. Wonderful teacher. What being close to me going to do for you? <laughs> Nothing. You don't believe me? Ask Williams. That's right. Ask Shane. Ask my wife and children. Nobody come before God in my life. That's Nobody. Right. Nobody. That's true. Nobody. That's true. And when we preach like this, comments over the air, that man got a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> He's mean. No, God made me a real watchman. Real watchman. That's it. And I have no respect of person. That's right. I have no favorites. No. No, you know. I ain't got no favorites. Uh, I really don't. Really don't. God for the world. Jones, you've been with me how many years? Almost 30 years. Almost Do I have any favorites? No favorites I ain't got none. You don't have none. Absolutely none. No, you don't. Never did. It's a sin. That's right. That's something. You that have respect a person commits sin. And a lot of preachers can't keep that standard for years. They can't. Amen. They allow themselves to get sucked into faith. No, no. Amen. You must always stand in the neutral corner. If not, spirit of error going to get in you. That's right. right. It doesn't matter if somebody is more supportive of the truth than another person. Stay in a neutral corner. Amen. Don't take sides. Amen. Don't put yourself in a predicament that you can't preach against something because you're afraid of offending your friends. And then after service over, your friend put you to the side, hey man, you know, I'm glad you didn't say what you was going to say. Yeah, I know, but I, I thought about you while I was up here and I didn't want to hurt you. Get out this pulpit. Get out. Amen. Amen. You ministers, your wives shouldn't have more influence on you than that Bible. That's right. Her thighs shouldn't dictate you. Her breasts ahead, shouldn't man. dictate you. Her bad performance shouldn't dictate you. That's right. Preaching. If you can't live up to that, Preaching. get out the pulpit. For the Bible say, I say to you that have wives. But this I say, brother, 
The time is short. Here, chapter and verse. First Corinthians 7 and verse 29. This I say, brother. The time is short. What? The time is short. You see how much time we got? Yeah. Short. Sure. Which is a warning from heaven to you. Amen. The Bible is warning you. Amen. The Holy Ghost has. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. What? It remaineth. It remains. That both they that have wives be as though they had none. You ministers in Jamaica that are still getting in the pulpit talking about the mistake that the brother made, make it your last time. All right. All right. If you do it one more time, you're fired from the night on. Amen. Amen. You do it one more time, and I don't care who the minister is, you do it one more time, just once, you're fired. The Garden of Eden rule is going to be put in effect. That's right. Wasn't you told not to eat? Yeah. You ate? Yeah. Gone. Gone. Brother, do wrong. He don't need your feet on his neck. He needs you to pray for him. Amen. Amen. This is one thing about people. You can make one mistake. Just one. Let me tell you something. I'm glad it happened. Let me tell you why. Because it let him see himself. And it also showed him he overestimated himself. And it made him reevaluate his zeal. And caused him to slow down. And it challenges his, hum his humility. But it also showed how many was not getting the word in them who ran with it. There were some brothers here called some of the saints in Minnesota, in the States, trying to debate them over it. What? Just one mistake. one mistake. And because they didn't get the word in them, they had too much Robinson in them. They were speaking in Robinson tongue, not the Holy Ghost. Oh, Robert, Robert, Robert. Holla, Gary! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm glad it happened. Some of y'all ran with it, with it and was arguing with some of the saints here in Jamaica that knew better. All in different temples, having arguments. And the reason why you did it was because the brother said it and you believed it because you was too close. And then it scared the life out of you when we reprimanded. Amen. Right then they was Whoo. You better repent and stop just going to church singing and jumping and jerking like jerk turkey. Amen. You better repent and get this in you. Don't you know the Bible say you are saved if you keep in remembrance what I preach unto you, lest you believe in vain? The Bible says what there? Now this I say, brethren, that every one of you saith, I am a Paul. And what else? And I have Apollos. And what else? And I have Cephas. And what else? And I have Christ. And what else? Is Christ divided? Some of y'all are guilty here tonight. Amen. Because when it happened, it manifested the hypocrisy that was in some of you. It manifested. You wasn't really in the truth, supporting the truth. You forsook the truth in your heart and didn't even know it. You see how quick it is to go to hell? You get one error and die with that error. You are go to hell, because the Bible says, do not err. Do not err. Listen. Is Christ divided? Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? 
Well, did Paul die for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Do you see how the apostles laid the groundwork? And Paul was a great apostle. Yes, he was. This man challenged heaven and said, if an angels come from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you. Let me show you how the spirit of error. Because when he made that error, some of you, <laughs> judge yourself now. When he made that error, some of you, <laughs> ain't got a way, ain't got a way. Really? Oh, yeah? Tell me that. Waiting is an act of faith. Obedience is your works. If you didn't have me going to the altar, if I didn't believe it, I wouldn't go. I remember when I talked to my brother, he was, he was running, 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 running. I said, well, if you ain't got to wait, then you must not have the Holy Ghost. Well, you got it, you waited. And I said, then I must not have it. Because I waited. And then everyone that waited, they must not have it then. The boss said, Terry. And when he said, not many days hence, not many days hence, you can't look at that the way God look at it. Because your many days, the problem with many of you, you just got stuck on Terry. And you just, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, smoking. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Your tongue down some girl's mouth. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, committing fornication. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, lying. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, favoritism. The Bible said he gave the Holy Ghost to those that obey him. You can wait all you want. You don't obey, you ain't getting nothing. That's right. Some of y'all got in the spirit over an era. Strange fire got a hold of some of you which proved you couldn't tell the difference. Yeah. From the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, that's scary. Now look at yourself and see what you want in those ones. Oh, hey! What had you doing to James Brown slide over an error? That's right. The Lord says, Terry, that's his word, his doctrine. The brother erred, and you went in some tongue. Like having a dog fight. Some of you up here. You wasn't in no more spirit than I'm a walking Pepsi Cola. Hereby know we the spirit of truth. And the spirit of error. That's written here. Anointing don't come over an error. No. That'll make God of the devil. That's right. That's right. Examine yourself. See, are you in the faith or not? Stop just watching the telecast. Pay attention. Your salvation hang on pay attention and obedience. That's right. How in the world can you obey over something you ain't listening to and learning? Goes for some of y'all. Right. Are you listening? Amen. I want to be sure that when God come for me, he had never told me, you should have said this, you should have said that. Oh, he ain't never going to have to say that to me. Because anyone been around me, no. God has given me a wide mouth. Oh, yeah. And I don't seek friendship from no one. Right. And when I say no one, I mean no one. No one. Oh, yeah. That's right. Since the day over 45 years ago when heaven appeared to me, he done something to me that I don't even have words to explain. And if I try to explain it, it's still not enough. That's wonderful. But I do understand what he done to me. That's wonderful. And I do understand how he made me. I don't have favoritism with a soul living. I will die that way. You ministers cannot have a drop of favoritism. No. If you do, 
you are lost. And the minister that got favoritism, the Bible said he didn't have respect the person that commits sin. sin. And as long as you got favoritism and keep having it, you was a sinner. You was a sinner. That's right. So you, you brothers that got the, the, the preacher's itch and want to <laughs> run up here, want to run up here and mimic me. Oh, I don't want to hear nothing about that. No, no. And you can't. Favoritism alone is a hurdle to come over. Brother asked me, how in the world, Pastor Jenny? He said, I want to be a minister. I said, yes. He said, well, how can I be in love with my wife and preach the gospel and not be close to her? Aren't you close to your wife? I said, yes. I know. That's right. He said, I don't understand. I said, I know you don't. Stay away from the pulpit. <laughs> That's right. said I'm close to her like the Bible requires yeah. and I said I'm not close to her like the Bible advise right. what is that Pastor Jennings but no other God before me right. don't have no other God before me that's right when you find yourself not willing to preach something because you know your own wife and children is guilty get out the pulpit when you find yourself don't want to preach something because a brother on security is close to you, get out the pulpit. But yeah. well, I'm scared he's going to leave. So what? It's his soul. That's right. The Bible said preach the word. He didn't say Nick pick over it. Preach it. Preach it. That's right. When you find yourself, got to pick and choose because you're worrying about the response you're going to get. You may get up and preach one day and the whole church sit quiet. That's right. That's right. Nobody say amen. Nobody That's right. You can't say, oh, the devil's in here. How do you know? They could be just quiet listening. That's right. That's right. Because you shouldn't preach to get a response. You preach so they can learn. That's it. Are you listening? You don't preach for respond. You preach so they can learn. When they learn, they can prepare themselves to meet God. If nobody say amen, I'm fine. As long as you get this in your bosom. That's it. So you can live right. That's it. Because some of y'all say amen, amen. You ain't even heard what the minister said. You ain't heard nothing. Just yelling. Man, a brother ain't even got half his statement out yet. Real quick. Still in 1 Corinthians 1 at verse 12. This is a good lesson for the world. Amen. Listen. Now this, now this I say that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, and I of Apollos, and I of Cephas. And Don't get caught up in no minister. That's right. Get into Jesus. Truly. The author. That's right. Finisher of our faith. Nice. Gino Jennings ain't the author and finisher of your faith. <laughs> Jesus is. Jesus is. I'm striving to get into the kingdom. Glory to God, like we are encouraging you to do. Yeah. That's why I won't get close to nobody. I won't do it. Amen. Amen. You can ask my brother, Chris. How did you can ask him? Yeah. I remember I got a hold of him right in church. He got upset on Frankfurt Avenue. And try to give me some lip. I said, who you think you talking to? I said, in this case, I ain't your brother. That's right. You're going to take what the Bible says, or you're going to go to hell. Or sit down. It make me no different. He's my brother. Who cares? The Bible says, who is my mother, sister, and brother, but he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven. See, a lot of us came out of churches where the bishop got favoritism. The pastor had favoritism. So it's foreign to a lot of people to be under the leadership of someone who absolutely have no favoritism. That's right. That's like, what? That's true. When a man got favoritism, it's like having a, peach, a preacher, a, like in school, a teacher's pet. Yeah. Williams and I is close, but there's a gap there. That's right. 
I kill him. Yes, you will. That's right. And he grew up with me. That's right. But I killed him. I have killed him. Oh, yes. And somehow or another, he keep resurrecting. <laughs> I mean, he just keep resurrecting. Every time I look, he's coming back. <laughs> and I killed him again. That's right. Next thing I know, I look, he's coming with his grave clothes on, <laughs> with Bible. The Bible says, if ye be without chastisement, wherein all are partakers, the Bible says, you are bastards and not a son. I know it hurts a lot of folk if they see a minister get reprimanded, but it's part of the holy teaching. Oh, yeah. The Bible said all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, instruction, in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, complete, thoroughly furnished, thoroughly supplied unto all good works. That's what I have to do. That's right. And Paul said, this will I do if God permit. Remember what the prophet Samuel said by God's permission and judge yourself. 1 Samuel 15 and verse 23. What is it? For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So another spirit have you tonight? Witchcraft is practiced throughout the Caribbean. Oh, yes. It was one sister. Man, I can't think of that mother's name. It was some word, the one that said, I'm not licky licky or lacky lacky. <laughs> sister Duffus. What do they call witchcraft here? Obia. Some of y'all dealing with Obia. <laughs> Young, middle aged, and old, male and female. Amen. Got a Obia, got a spirit, got a spirit on you. According to the Bible, it's two spirits. That's right. The Bible says, hereby know we. He's know telling we. us to know it. The spirit of truth. The spirit of God. And the spirit and of And the error. spirit of the devil. You better know them spirits. Know it. So you can properly identify what's dealing with you and who. This is a scary thing. Church is not exempted from the spirit world. Don't you know the apostles fought with spirits? That's right. I want to say, I don't believe that the spirit of the devil can get me. Nineteenth chapter of Acts. Acts. Yeah, that's, it. that's right. Acts chapter 19. And we'll start reading at verse 12. Sons of Sceva. Acts chapter 19, we'll start at verse 13. Follow me. Then certain of the vagabond Jews. Certain exorcists. of the wandering Jews. Exorcists. Them that practice exorcism took upon them wait a minute holy ghost made them do it took upon them the lord guided them took upon them the lord moved them took upon them Amen. they took matters in their own hands to call over them which had evil spirits what the name of the lord jesus Saying, we adjure you by we Jesus. We adjure you by Jesus. Whom Paul, whom preached. Paul preached. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew. Yes. And chief of the priests, which did so. Then what? And the evil spirit answered. The evil spirit started talking. And said, Jesus I know. I know Jesus. And Paul I know. Wait, wait. Amen. I know Jesus because he the one put me out. That's right. I know Paul. That's right. Because he the one that's terrorizing my kingdom. <laughs> that's right. I know Paul very well because I had him. Amen. But now Jesus got him. That's right. And I want him back. <laughs> Amen. But Paul don't even come back. But what? And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know. Jesus I know. And Paul I know. Paul I know. But who are ye? Now, church, Jesus I know. Satan, I know. Right. Who got you doing what you're doing? That's right. Can you identify? Can you honestly, sincerely identify who is dealing with you? I want you to think deeper than you ever thought before. Amen. 
You can't tell me it ain't God. I'm just preaching the word. <laughs> That's right. You judge your own self. That's right. All I know when I stand before God, I better not be lying in word or deed. Right. Search yourself. Amen. This is a soul searching message. Oh, yeah. And make you not take nothing for granted. That's right. The power of the devil and the spirit of error is all around the world. That's right. Leading people to hell by the thousands making them believe God is doing this, God said this, God made them do this, God, no, 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 no. That's why I got to look at the word of God first. And some people is offended by this action, wherein they should be glad by this action. That's right. I hold the Bible in front of you before I hold anything. What is that? And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know. And Paul I know, but who are ye? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them. Wait. Spirit did come out. Yeah. But when you take matters in your own hands, confusion take place. That's right. Because look at what happened. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them. Wait a minute. It jumped on them. Them, them who? The sons of Sceva. Right. And then what? And overcame them. It overpowered them. And prevailed against them. And their evil spirit got victory over them. So that they fled out of that house. They went running. Naked. It beat them out their clothes. And wounded. And it hurt them. Amen. That's scary, isn't it? That's scary. Yeah. That's scary. A witchcraft spirit is the spirit is as the spirit of rebellion, which make you vulnerable for the working of Satan. Amen. Take your time, pay attention, and always sit in judgment upon yourself and nobody else. Close out with Samuel again. Back in 1 Samuel 15 and verse 23. That's what? For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Are you in sin tonight? Is it a spirit in you that got you rebelling against this message tonight? Upset and mad at the Bible? That's right. That's right. Pastor Jenny, do you got to say it so rough? Yes. That's right. The Bible said rebuke them sharply. sharply. That they might be sound in the faith. In the faith. Yeah. It's a commandment that God gave. That's right. He said, rebuke them sharply. sharply. That they might be sound in the yeah. faith. This witness is true. Wait a minute. Amen. Titus says what? Titus chapter 1 and verse 13. Says what? This witness is true. That's why some say he ain't got no love. I got plenty of love. I got the love of God. <laughs> That's right. All you souls came here from hearing the message. You think I'm going to stand by and let the devil destroy your soul? Oh, no. My job as a minister is to protect your soul. <laughs> I want to protect the soul of the ministers and everybody. Amen. That's my job as a watchman. If I'm not going to watch out for your soul, you don't need me. Right. That's right. I can't watch out for your soul with favoritism. I got to tell you the truth. I said I have to do it. I know some of you over the air now making comments. You see that? He's full of himself. No, I'm full of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> the reason why some of y'all watching is not used to someone that's up in your face with the Bible because you got these weak, spineless sugar daddy for bishops. Yeah. And you're giving him so much money, he can't dare stake a stand like this without offending someone, and they threaten this check. That's right. They ain't got no check for the church to threat. No. I'm a working man. That's right. And I can say like the Apostle Peter, let me freely speak unto you. I can preach it freely. Amen. 
The Lord is coming. This ain't no time to get distant from the Lord. I'm laboring to get you closer to him. That's the right. Lord is coming. That's right. The talent that God is bringing into the church, the choirs and the many thousands of souls that's coming in, they ain't, they ain't good enough. They ain't good enough. COVID killed some of the members here in Jamaica, some of the members in America, some of the members in Europe. And God going to bring something else that's going to make COVID look like a walk in the park. Lord. Some of you here, you're not going to make it. Some of you are not going to make it. I'm warning you. Amen. Something else going to come that's going to make COVID look like a breeze. Hallelujah. Go to God. You better run. Run to the word. That's it. We're not traveling around the world for fun. I ain't getting no fun out of it. No. I'm tired of traveling. I'm sick of traveling. Yeah. I am tired of it. I'm sick of it. And I've been to the point I hate it. No. I don't like traveling, not even a little bit. No. I've been traveling consistently, going on 39 years, nonstop. Nonstop. That's right. I've been preaching going on 46 years. I'm tired of traveling. There ain't no fun in it for me at all. I want you to be saved. But I got a job to do, and I say like Pastor Paul, this will I do if God permit. It may not sound like I love you, but I love you, old wicked soul. I love you too, William. I know, Pastor. I know. I know. Mike, my sound man, I love you too. <laughs> I love all my brothers and sisters. God knows when I look at what God is doing here, I can't begin to express. Wonderful. Looking at your face is a great encouragement to me. But as an overseer, the message of God is not always to exalt you. Have to reprimand you and correct you so you can be in line with God. Always keep in mind, this is all about God. That's right. Nothing else. This is about God. You don't want to go to hell, do you? Talk back to me. I'm determined to lay in word and doctrine with God help to keep you out of that. Glory to God. You may not understand me. That's all right. I'm laboring that you may understand God. That's right. But the word of God says what? This witness is true. What shall we do? Wherefore rebuke them rebuke sharply. Rebuke them sharply. For that, what reason? That they may be sound in the faith. Why? Not giving heed to Jewish fables. Not giving heed to Jewish fables. And commandments, and of, commandments men of men. That turn from the truth. That turn from the truth. Unto the pure. Unto the pure. All, all things, things are, pure. are pure. But unto what? But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving. What? Is nothing pure. What else? But even their mind and conscience is defiled. What's they talk, they William? They profess that they know God. Listen at this. Amen. They claim that they know God, that they know the Lord, but in work, in what, they, in work, in what, in work, how do they act? They deny him. And what do they fill with? Being abominable and disobedient and, and unto every good work reprobate. Amen. Amen. Anybody here want to get right with God tonight? Right now. Hallelujah. Repent of your sins. Hallelujah. God wants you to be sorry. 
about being a sinner. Many of you get baptized, you ain't never repented. God wants you to be sorry about your sins. Proof that you're sorry, your heart will be troubled. The Bible says, God in the sorrow worketh repentance unto life. Your heart will be pricked. Hallelujah. The Bible said, when they were pricked in their heart, said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Jamaica. Hallelujah. Even some of you that got the Holy Ghost, you got to repent for your actions that, that you displayed. The brother minister already repented. Many of you didn't. I mean it. None of you ministers better not go behind a brother's back and display your disrespect and bring division over the pulpit in your temple no more. Any minister do it, any, you're instantly fired. And if you say the Lord moved you, I'm going to tell you, you a liar. The Bible said the spirit of the prophet, meaning the spirit of the message, messenger, is subject to the messenger. There's enough division. In fact, it's too much. We want God people to be one. That's what Jesus prayed for among his apostles, that they all might be one. All you need is a little strike of a match. That's it. Sometimes we don't realize the fire that we started. So I got to put the blaze out. Amen. Some, want to, some want to keep it going. Some seize the opportunity to put themselves out there and, and, and inflate their chest. I'm going to pierce you right. with Bible. So out come wickedness. No minister. As they get into any of the minutes of the churches. With this ever again. Not only over the pulpit, not even one on one with nobody. When repentance is done, leave it alone. That goes for, if I got to reprimand any of the other brothers. Same rule applied. If that brother repent, when it's done, leave it alone. No one got their right to lay a stipulation. Well, I didn't see no tears. The Bible didn't say they got to make nothing. Well, I didn't feel it. Who are you that got to feel it? God ain't say you got to feel nothing. That's right. My spirit didn't agree with it. God ain't say your spirit got to agree with it. Well, you get to lay all these stipulations upon somebody. Amen. I'm glad it happened. It shows who's with you, who's not. Amen. Shows who's your enemy and who's your brother. The division was all already there. It ain't just started. This, ain't, this didn't start no division. It was already there. This just brought it to surface. It was already there. Ain't no fool. You come together in a convention, jumping, hooping, and hollering, and shouting, and doing the boogaloo. <laughs> the division was already there. As the crowd began to swell, the vision was already there because there was things being said in the different local temples that should not have been said long before this took place. Right. Right. The Bible says we're helpers of one another. Bear help to one another. You shouldn't have to fight each other in here. You got enough to fight out there. Right. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. And, what? and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's the new birth. That's how you're born again. Amen. Water and spirit is given upon repentance unto life. Are you listening? Amen. Anybody want to be baptized the right way in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet. 
Stand on your feet and come to the front in case you're out there. If you're out there, come on in. Want to be baptized? If you're out there, come on in. Come on in if you're out there. Come on. Come on. To my left, to my right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. If you're on the balcony, come on down. That's right. You might as well come on and get on God's side. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Repent. Repent. Hallelujah. Repent. Because there's God's command. Hallelujah, glory to God. This is the Lord's doing. Glory be to God and his marvelous in our eyes. Everybody got this to obey. That's right. Everybody. Amen. Holy Ghost gave us all something good tonight. All the ministers be here at 9 o'clock tomorrow. And every convention here in Jamaica, we want to have a standard meeting every Saturday at 10.30, Saturday morning. Every convocation when it take place here in Jamaica, there will be a minister's meeting every Saturday morning at 10.30. Don't let the devil bring division amongst yourselves. Don't let the devil do it to you. It makes him happy. The Bible says of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things. It'll make the devil happy. And don't you do that. You got enough problems with the devil, fighting them out there. You trying to get close to God and he's trying to keep you far from God. Strive to live holy. Bear help one to the other. And if any brother or sister get wrong, don't rejoice. Brother or sister, get wrong. Don't you rejoice? What in the world is that to be glad about? Brother or sister, fall. Why would you be happy? Strive to pick them up. Don't talk about you got the love of Christ. That's not words. You got to put that into actions. The Bible said, Rejoice not my enemies, for when I fall, I shall arise. And when I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. The Lord shall be a light Amen. unto me. Come on back tomorrow. Prayer begin at 11 o'clock. I wish I can sleep longer. But brothers that minister here, be here at 9 o'clock. Let us all stand. Bishop Ferguson will close us out in prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise for the words you have spoken to us. Help us that we be doers of the word and not hearers only. Go with us now and bring us back again to perform your will 
In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.